Welcome back, Captains, to Starfleet Academy Online. I'm your host and instructor, Hale Bosey, and in today's episode, we're going to talk to you about the heads-up display. To access the heads-up display, you're going to need uh, just access to the mini-map. So if you go to your where you same place you would go for your options menu, that little cog uh, button right on the right side of your mini-map, that'll open up the options menu. You can also press escape. It's a faster way to get here if you want to do that. Um, but you can also go to where it says rearrange HUD. And the neat thing about this is that you can rearrange literally all the different windows that you want to um, right here in your HUD and that's pretty spectacular because this allows you to really customize and configure your um, interface any way you want. It's very highly customizable and it's really important for smooth gameplay based on the setup that you have that you're working with at home. So that's why it's going to be like really important. Now you can take a look at what I have set up here. It doesn't mean that uh, this is the best way of doing it but there are lots of ways to look at things because you're going to notice that there's a ground interface but there's also a space interface which is different and I'll show you just by beaming up uh, into the star system. But the reason it's important to note is because all your abilities from ground are going to be different in space and vice versa. So uh, make sure when you set up your spell bars you keep that into account but when in addition to setting up like where you put your mini map where you put your missions log and all that uh, you're also going to want to pay attention to what abilities that you can actually put on your action bars so if you just take a look at the right side of this button right here at the top of your uh, button tray uh, if you go ahead and click that it'll open up all the different abilities that you currently have available to use for this character in space and you can go down the list but you'll notice on the bottom left here it's already locked which means none of these will move no matter how much you click them or try to move them so you have to unlock it there and then that will allow you to be able to move things from place to place so just kind of keep that on mind initially also when you're uh, looking through here this will give you an option to actually see what everything does so you can decide where you want to put it on your map very cool uh, very interesting but then you can also not only choose what buttons that you want to put and what abilities but you can also decide how many trays that you want so you can have up to 10 trays per menu and you can actually move these around too you can add more of these so if you have like um, there's there's lots of ways to do it um, and there's there's uh, several menus I like to keep it a little bit more simple just because I like more area to actually see on my screen what's happening uh, and I don't like to be covered up too much with that but uh, there's a couple of ways to access and, and modify your HUD menu, and that's one of them. But you can also do it by going to your options menu once again, and you'll see that uh, there's the rearrange HUD button. But if you go into options, there's also a HUD tab at the top. And when you come here, there's a few key things that you can do. Number one, you can actually change the size of your uh, or, and the scale of your overall buttons. So if you increase that, you'll increase the size of your buttons. If you put them back down, you can decrease the size of your buttons, but I think the maximum is two times what they would normally be, and default setting is one. So just keeping that there so you understand uh, what that is. Also, you can notice you can switch here from space to ground, and if you go all the way to the bottom, once you've got your HUD set up all the way, the way that you want it to be set up, if you look down at the bottom, you'll notice you can save the UI's configuration exactly the way that it is, so that later, if you end up buying, or not buying, but if you end up like creating a new character uh, that you want to build up, you don't have to waste time setting up the HUD all over again just the way you like it. You can just load that UI if, as long as you have one saved and apply it and that'll go straight. Um, that'll apply that specific HUD and it'll be exactly the same as your other characters, which is really, really cool and a great feature to use if you're a beginner in Star Trek Online. Well, 
I think that about covers the material. I want to thank you all for tuning in yet again. Hopefully this material is helpful for you. If you liked the content in this video, please make sure you give us a hail bozy and also subscribe to the channel if you want more uh, content to help you get through the game. Uh, once again, we want to thank you for viewing and remember, boldly go. Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them scream? Legends never die, they become a part of you.